and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round one of day one of the open rounds of the Call of the Mountain seasonal tournament. This is our very first seasonal tournament with Legends of Runeterra. Big day, big moment. I'm pretty excited about this, so we're going to have to see uh, how this is going to go. Y'all know that my uh, decks, I'm playing the Taric Draven deck. Poros give it all and at mid-range frostbite of course the only decks I've been playing on stream over the last couple of days so yeah so that's what we're going to be playing and uh, let's see how this goes okay here we go it popped up we're, we are ready we are playing Mr. Brunitu okay so let's study their decks um Trundle Trindamir has Feel the Rush. Man, this is a not a not a one that I like seeing. Two passage unearned. I think I'm gonna play against this. This is tough. This is a tough decision of what I want to face. I'm not sure if I want to face this. Or no, it's it's probably Shen Fiora. I'm probably I'm probably banning Shen Fiora actually now that I think about it. Alright. Hmm. Choosing a deck to ban. All right, I'm gonna ban the Shen Fiora. And I'm gonna try to beat the two control decks. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that. I don't know, it's either the Shen Fiora or the, I, I don't really like, I don't really wanna face any of these, to be honest. Uh, I could see banning this, could definitely see banning the Anivia deck. I've talked about banning the Anivia deck a whole lot, but um, But I think, no, let's, I'm, all right, I'm going to ban Anivia. Okay. So I think that I, I don't know, I don't know if my Poro deck can beat the Shen Fiora deck. So I want Poros to match up against the Trundle Trindamir. That's going to be a tough matchup anyway, also. Those are both going to be tough matchups. So I'm going to lead with Poros. Because I don't want... If I if I pick Midrange Frostbite and they pick Trundle Trindamir and I win, then my Midrange Frostbite's done. And then my Poro deck has to beat the, the Shen Fiora. And I don't really like my chances there. So I, I think my chances here are a little bit better. Definitely get rid of the second one of these. What do I want Braum to do? Okay. Thanks, Cabo. I don't like Overwhelm, but I have to just get damage in, so this is just the keyword that I get not the keyword that I want. I did kind of spend too much time writing down the Anivia deck and then deciding to, to ban it. <laughs> so that probably wasn't the, the best idea. Okay, perfect. Good job, Thermogenic Beam. All right, so we're looking at Avalanche, Tasty Faithful, Kindly Tavern Keeper. These are the kind of cards they're going to be playing this round. Okay. 
Besides, you know, Catalyst of Aeons, Weirding Stones. Like, that, those would be the things that would punish me for... For playing, you know, playing like Mighty Poro first. That's pretty good. We're gonna have eight mana next turn. Vi stands for violence. So they can have Trindamir. That's not the worst thing in the world. So next turn I'm gonna have seven mana. Ah, it is the it is I hope it's not. So they have three Mina Swiftfoot. I hope they don't have Mina. Sw I hope they don't play Mina Swiftfoot. Of course they have three Field of Rush also. So they have the mana for Field of Rush and Swiftfoot. But uh, I can't even give it all. Both of those are, are pretty big problems. Swiftfoot and Field of Rush. Maybe they don't have either. That'd be great. Nope. Not that lucky. That's one, two, three, so there's two others. Help is on the way. All right, so Mina, Mina Swiftfoot is what kills me. Looks like that's the only card in their hand, or in their deck. Oh yeah, Deny. Oh right, they have three Deny. Forgot about that one. Alright, well. That's the first game. Man, so now Poros are going to have to beat Shen Fiora. So while I, let's see, because it doesn't doesn't really matter which one I start with, you know, like they I have to win with both of these. So it doesn't really matter which one I I play first. Um, and it's like I already saw the deck list. So it's not like I I see new things depending on what I play. That would have been really nice to win that game. Kind of feel like Poros are going to be my downfall. All right, they're playing three denies, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Give it all. Patch Poro Bot just does not really work against Fi you know it does not match up against Fiora. Just neither of those you know two threes don't match up against Fiora. Well, I'm glad we just draw all three cards at us Mulligans. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's great. So the patch four bot is tough. That means it doesn't die to Fiora right away. Break their spirits and their souls. <laughs> Harry, repost, you uh -huh. Hmm. 
Wish I had Troll Chant available. Also here for Repost. We'll have to see if they... Okay, so they're not keeping Repost available. Uh, they could have another Sharp Sight if I challenge the 3-2. There's, so there's no there's no reason to challenge the 3-2 and have Braum die to a Sharp Sight. It's not like Braum's doing any damage anyway. Thanks, Dark Dragoon. So they were gonna challenge the mighty Poro with you know get three damage on with Mystic Shot. That's a good draw. If I attack with the patch Poro bot, it's an obvious Poro snacks. So they do have three single combat, three concerted strike, three deny. It's not too bad. Trading a, a one mana Poro for a single combat. That's not too bad. We'll have to see what, you know, how Shen does, though. Shen's more of a problem. Uh, yeah, Shen's definitely a problem. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky. Probably they think I should just cast Give It All and hope they don't have one of their. But like the thing is, like, what does Give It All really do right here? Even if they don't have one of their four denies, or sorry, one of their three denies, I just get like some, a, you know, a little bit bigger units. But it's not like you know they don't have like elusive. They don't really finish the game. So I can either Mystic Shot the Tracker and kill Tracker. I, I think I want to Mystic Shot Shen. Yeah, I'm going to be casting the Give It All this next turn. I guess I'm, I'm supposed to do this right now. So that... If they would have Sharp Sight to save Shen. Three screeching dragons against my little poros. First we fight. Show me your best. Dang. It is easy, see? I don't think I can use it on Flea Feather Tracker. Poro Snacks is a good draw. It's not like the, you know, it's not our best draw, but it's a good draw. And of course, certainly hoping 
They would. They do. Sharp Slam. By my honor, you must die. Well, it doesn't kill them. I thought that was Aurora Porealis. That would have been our best draw. I thought that's what that was. Really? The they just get their best draw? Speaking of best draws, that's theirs. Because now I'm pretty sure that's going to be 20 damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, could be 20 damage that I'm going to have to block. And kills all of my things. I think. Well, they, they shouldn't be doing it like this. Yeah, like they, they could have Chen give an additional. Yeah, so like they that was a bad attack by them. If Shen would have supported the Bright Steel formation, that would have been 20. Come on. The third sharp sight? Give me a break. Poros, killing me. Well, there we go. That was. Uh, some some luck there. Just had you know, had the Nopify protection, then the deny drew all three sharp sights. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Well there's our first round. Poros are gonna just be the down downfall of me. I, I should have picked it, you know, after after playing the Poros for so long the other day and losing so much with it. I should have picked a different deck. Uh, Poros were windless against Shen Fiora and Field of Rush decks. <laughs> we were, we lost, uh, we were 0-6 against Field of Rush and Shen Fiora before, and yeah, that's, that's what we just faced in 0-2. I mean, they, they also, I mean, we, we got to the point, like, where we were top decking, and we, we were also, we were favored with a clock with, and we were both top decking, and they, they top decked a lot better than me. You know, like, I drew the, um, like, so, like, they, like, there are three turns in a row. They drew Fiora. And then, you know, so Fiora, really good challenger after they already had all three of their, all three of the five mana challengers, which was crazy. All three of the dragons. So they just had all three sharp sights, all three dragons. And the dragons, of course, eat Poros really, really well. So the last three draws were Fiora and then the uh, nine drop right steel formation and then sharp sight in a row. Like three of the best things you could draw. You know, Fiora takes down one of my Poros. And, and my last couple of draws there um i did draw that poro snacks that was really clutch that kept the poros alive the poro snacks was super clutch and then i drew the give it all which really didn't do anything it gave the other poro elusive but that didn't really matter you know i could have just drawn another poro or you know another elusive poro or you know other things like that that draw didn't really matter that much and then the third poro snacks which also just didn't matter and so those were like my three draws at the same time with their three. I had that one good one, but then two that didn't matter, and all three of theirs were were just insane. I mean, my hand wasn't that bad. I mean, I think you know, I, I don't, I can't say I had an awful hand. I can't say that my hand, my opening hand was pretty good. It was well, 
Okay, I mean, I guess I, I liked the Braum. The Braum did some work, but yeah, I guess I guess I did mulligan three cards and then immediately drew those three cards again. So I guess, I guess never mind. I guess my hand wasn't as good as I remembered. Because yeah, we did that, but we had some we had some really good clutch draws. Like the both poor both of our first two Poro snacks that we drew were really good clutch draws. Pretty crazy. They both the sharp sights they drew were awesome for them. Oh yeah, I I forgot about the one Mystic shot as an out. Honestly, I just didn't didn't really think about. It. I was just frustrated with that sharp sight. Like that was really frustrating. But yeah, I guess I did have that one out. It's unfortunate. That's that's a that's just a terrible pairing for me too. All three of those decks are. It's like they, it's like they. Picked the decks that I don't want to face. All they needed was mid-range Frostbite to make it worse. I guess I could have played the mid-range... So, like, I could have played the mid-range Frostbite and probably... Like, I think mid-range Frostbite versus Shen Fior is a good matchup. And I, I think I would have d done really well there. I could have played that and uh, won that and at least made it to a game three. But I kind of felt like if I was going to win with Poros, they're, like, playing them twice in a row. I don't know why, but I kind of felt like that would give us a... A little bit better luck, you know, like maybe, you know, you sp split instead of losing two in a row.